26,90. On that day, all founders from the Libreo came over. So you had you had the guys, you know, like from Turkey, from Greece, all these people coming at the same place at the same time, just to celebrate together. It was like, hey, we did it. We did it together because your contribution in Korea or what you did in South America coming together on that very specific day. So it was the result of all of us doing this effort. It was a kind of celebration, but also knowing that it was on the 30th of June. So that means like this is the end of the second quarter and we will have to report very quickly. For the finance teams, usually it's like, okay, now the work is really starting on top of what we had before. And I was back to work on, on the very next day. The IPO is really demanding. I mean, like physically and psychologically, we're going to go through marathons at the speed of a sprint. The CFO is really in the middle because you get the banks asking you questions with the lawyers, you get the board, auditors, you get your employees, everyone. I mean, you're in the middle, you, you never stop. And Actually, you learn so much and are resilient you can be as a human. You can do much more than when you think you can do. It was a big change for us, uh, the before and after the IPO. Certainly the perception is different. It's not a startup in Berlin anymore. It's a European listed company. We did an incredible IPO. I mean, it was a big success. We've been listed um, to a, to a certain standards, and then uh, six months after we came to the next standards, and now we have an MDAX, and probably very soon we become a DAX company. I'm a big believer that you know we're going to see a lot of growth for the next years.